it seems like he would have came with Corey, right? I don't think so. I think he yeah. was later. I think he came right when Jay. Uh, I don't. Y'all were. So that's that. why we need to find out how many original members were there of Slipknot. Yes, you're right. Yeah. I'm an emotional guy when it comes to that. Put your foot through it, clown. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood 6, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Schmo. Yeah. Diggity. Yeah. Who was the first wrestler to wear face paint, not a mask, and you, that you can remember? The first wrestler to wear face paint, not a mask. I want to say the Road Warriors. You think? It was either the Road Warriors or um, Sting and a Sting and a, the Warrior, uh, Dingo Warrior. Dingo what? He was the Dingo Warrior, <laughs> Ultimate Warrior, before he was Ultimate Warrior. Damn, really? That That's fairly new if you ask me. That one, that I mean, was 80s. early 80s, yeah. So you don't think there was no wrestlers in the 70s that wore face paint? That you can remember? <laughs> Not I did, that I know of, yeah. I, I think it started in the early 80s. <laughs> Dog. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, you could... Um, I'm trying to say this without YouTube saying no. Mm -hmm. But uh, another word for murder is what? Uh, kill. All right, you got rap, you got country, you got metal, you got disco. You got another one. Pop. Put this together. Kill pop. You got it, my <laughs> friend. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next because that's how we get the ideas for these videos that comes directly from you. Right down in the comment section. And today, it's time to step into the snare and mingle with the maggots on Slipknot Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Oh, dog. How many times have you seen this song suggested since we started Slipknot Saturday? Way, well, not too many. I, I'm just I gonna swear say I thought you was about to hit the Macho Man Randy Savage <laughs> on me. Oh, yeah. I swear I thought you was. But go ahead. Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> 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 a lot of times, a lot of times they answer the question. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You gotta, yeah. Uh -huh. you gotta make your veins pop out. Yeah. Like that, you bro. gotta get all intense <laughs> in on me. <laughs> all right. All right. Um. Yeah, man. Since the inception of Slipknot Saturday, even before Slipknot Saturday, mm -hmm. Kill Pop yeah. was one of them ones. Yeah, definitely. Since we've been doing Slipknot, they've been yelling out Kill Pop. You know, all right. So last last Slipknot Saturday, we you found out that you know uh, Joey was replaced and replaced mm -hmm. with Jay Weinberg. Yes, yes. This is again Jay Weinberg. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen some some of the maggots say this mm -hmm. that some maggots say that Jay was slightly better than Joey. Mm. Wow, that's a statement. That there. feels kind of wrong to say, don't it? Ooh, yeah. That's tough. That's tough. Uh, I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys to make that decision, but... So, well, yeah. I, I guess me and you haven't heard enough to compare the two. Not really. You want me to tell you something else interesting I found out? What's that? And I don't know who the member is, mm -hmm. but did you know there are two members of Stone Sour in Slipknot? Oh, really? Blows my mind, too. <laughs> I guess it makes sense when you got nine people, you know, then... Hey, some of them could be from Stone Sour. I want to say it's the lead guitarist, the one who has like the Phantom of the Opera mask with the goatee like yours. Mm, you know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, but how does that even work? Does they like, all right, I mean. I want to know how many members were there originally before Corey. So when Corey and uh, they meet up in Iowa or whatever, when Corey is over here with Stone Sour and uh, Clown was over here with uh, Slipknot, how many members were Slipknot right. at that time? Well, I think Paul and Clown, I don't know Paul, Clown's real name, but Paul was in the, the original. And mm. I think Joey might have been original and, and Clown. So I think mm -hmm. those are the founding three. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, the, how many were? Uh, you would think it's at least a four-piece band at that time, right? Man, you know what makes me think? Because you always say, how did, like for instance, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. How does all these people come from this one 
tiny place in, in the, the world, world. and yes. y'all have the same exact flow. Yeah. Let's yeah. equate that to Slipknot. Yeah. How do – I want to say Slipknot original was maybe 12 people. Yeah. How do 12, 12 people <laughs> – you think there was 12 before, Corey? God dang it. Talk to him. Let me do my Google. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. And it is, like you said, that it's crazy that all these guys are on the same page. And they just happen to convene at one spot at one time mm-hmm. to create destiny from that point moving forward. Mm-hmm. It's amazing to think about how you know, some of these synchronicities line up like that. Especially when you think of Bone Thugs. You're like, how does one little ghetto in the middle of America, of Cleveland, harbor four or five guys who can all do the exact same thing on the exact same level with that much talent like it's amazing to think that that just happened it just happened out of the blue okay i think there were six you got <clears throat> taylor mm. karen uh but taylor what? pronounce that name Carhan. 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 okay what were we about to say taylor what now but he didn't come along until they they met up with stone sour Wait, what? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Within five, five and six of... Okay, that's... How many are with them now? I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. Damn, I don't, you know what? I'm not going to do my Googles. Yeah, let's they'll ask, tell us. Well, you guys let's, will let we us got know. the maggots here. Yeah. But I, th- I find it fascinating that Corey... They, like you said, they met up in Iowa. Mm-hmm. Stone, so who owns Stone Sour? Is Corey... Would you, does, I guess that was Corey's band, right? Okay, then it's, if that's the point, I guess if it's his band, he's like, all right, I'm still rocking with y'all. Yeah. I'm going to go be with a bigger band. Yeah. And then I'm going to take another member from Stone Sour and take yeah. him. What about- I, I like to think that's how it happened. And I may be wrong, and you guys can correct me. Uh, but I, I like to think that he's like, he's like um, you know, Clown or whoever actually proposed to Corey. Like, come on, if you come rock with us, we'll do these shows, and, you know, it's going to be great. And Corey's like, okay, I'm going to do that with y'all. I'm still going to do my Stone Sour thing, because obviously he has. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to just leave them out in the dark, you know? Mm -hmm. So I I think he's like, I'm going to rock with y'all. I'm going to do both of them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'll have two great groups. And it worked. It worked. Yeah. See, and then I want to know, when did they bring the other member from Stone Sour into Slipknot? Yeah, well, it seems like he would have came with Corey, right? I don't think so. I think he was later. I think he came right when... Jay, uh, I don't y'all were so learning. that's why we need to find out how many original members were there of Slipknot. Yes, you're right, yeah. and not only that, man, but um, it's just could you do is it all right? Would you consider Slipknot or would you consider Stone Sour's music similar to Slipknot? No, so not from what I've heard. Is least. it possible? All right, two mem- I don't know how many members are in Stone Sour, but let's say there's three. Mm-hmm. All right, you got two of the members in Stone Sour with Slipknot. Mm-hmm. So you might as well just do a Stone Sour Slipknot concert because you got two members there already. Yeah. You think that's ever happened? I'm sure it has. <laughs> I don't see there's any way around that happening at some point in time. <laughs> you sound <laughs> so good. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot for Corey to do. You're going to sing a whole set with Stone Sour and then sing a whole set with Slipknot, but I'm sure he could pull it off. Have you seen the size of that guy's neck? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm sure he can see a lot of mind. vocals coming through that neck. Oh, um, <laughs> real quick, it's Kill Pop. Any idea what that's about, Smoke Dog? Oh, I think it's. I think it's yeah, I think it's obvious. Like there, we are a certain subset of the music industry. We don't like that subset of the music industry. They're all fakers <laughs> and frauds and posers over there, right? So therefore, you can make your own assumption after that. Well, do you think? Because you know how in hip hop, uh, who was it? I think Jay Z made a song "Death of Auto Tune" DOA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe Slipknot's making the same thing. Yeah, Kill Pop. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Smoke up. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. If they liberate bananas, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> liberate banana. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This has got to be where Shine Grady got the idea for his Stop, video. Smokey. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Dude, this... <clears throat> All right, hold on. Let's just bring this back real quick. Mm-hmm. I, I, we rarely do this, but this is my the my least favorite uh, Corey Taylor's mask. I think this is oh, the really? ugliest mask Slipknot's ever had. And I'm... Don't hate me. This is my opinion. I think out of all the masks that's been a part of Slipknot, this Corey Taylor mask is the worst. Oh, let me see it. I want to see. 
just my opinion. Don't kill me. Everyone else's masks are great, but that this is bad. It looks oh, I like that. She's sticking needles oh. in her skin. I turn with another grin. Her canvas doesn't leave a lot. That is epic. To fantasy. But her peace of mind can't stay inside the lines. It's so confusing. The methods that she's using. She knows she shouldn't leave Look at a that. That I can see. Shout out, Sid. That's a great video. Wow. Bro. You see the style of the the later videos? Like, that's more along the lines of the, the so psychosocial type video. Yeah, later work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely see the trends changing. Whereas, oh, oh, what was the name of the one? Where they were in the the abandoned house. Uh, Was it Wait and Bleed? No. I think it was Wait and Bleed. No, it was. was no. Oh, God. Maybe Sick. Wait. I can't remember. I, yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah, about, talking though. About. Yeah. Like, that seems more of their early work, the early style of video they were doing. But you definitely tell, like, the, the cinematography on this one was more along the lines of psychosocial. Yes. You see... I love that video. That video was fire, <laughs> yeah. bro. It makes you wonder, did... do. Do any of the members of Slipknot have any creative control with the videos? I think we've yeah. asked that before. Yeah, I would like to think they do. I mean, how can you not do yeah. it? Yeah, wouldn't it suck to be an artist, though, if you didn't have control over that? Yes, it would. Like, I'm sure there's big bands under giant labels where they they do all the videos for you. You know, that you just turn in your music, and then they're like, okay, we got you a photo or a, a video shoot set up. Right. You just come out here and... 
you here's know, what you're gonna do. Here's your script. Or, you know what's crazy that you mentioned that. You know two chains, right? Mm-hmm. He, you remember when everyone thought he was part of the Illuminati, and <laughs> yeah. so he said literally in hip hop, when you're part of these, and this is like when you're with, on the top of the world, hip hop. Yeah, yeah. He would go. He would give him a song, and he'd just go to a, a, a warehouse, and it's just a big green screen, yeah. and you're just performing. You have no clue what they're gonna put behind you. Yeah. Oh yeah, it happens. But see, with Slipknot, they none of that was green screen. No, no. Real life. No, it's all raw and gritty, you know, out in the dirt. And who were you asking? You said, what does that guy play? Yeah, Pinhead dude. Oh, the yeah, that. Craig. 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 He's the keyboardist. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Man. I remember that one from Psycho Social. He was. Oh, there. yeah, jamming it. Okay, yeah. I remember. <laughs> yeah. God, see, man, this, y'all. Dude, not... I, it would be great to be a part of a band like that. Then let's do it. Like even if I I can only play the 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 beer keg Listen with a me. baseball bat. Listen, like, exactly. I want to do that. <laughs> Clown ran his hands up and down a snare yeah. drum. Yeah, that's it. He or, just makes percussion sounds. <laughs> man, everyone plays their part. And mm-hmm. and what did you think about Car- uh, Corey's mask and that? I don't mind it. Uh, it's really? not bad. No, I mean I, I definitely like. Uh, not that one, but the psychosocial mask. I like, I like dread, that one better. The dread yeah, one. You know, that, that one, was, one was cool. But the yeah. dread one is like, to yeah. me, I think that's perfect. Yeah. But the psychosocial one's fire, too. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Hmm. I mean, it is the the pinhead, that, that would be cool, too. But it just seems inconvenient if you're going to be <laughs> Dude, headbanging. that's so excellent. <laughs> yeah. I love that, though. <laughs> I and imagine it, if you headbang too hard, it's going <laughs> to fall right off. Though. I hear that those are actual real metal. It that's looked like it, yeah. Yeah. I, damn, dude, what was I about to say to you? Um, uh, we were talking about. Oh, what do you think about New Core's uh, mask? Everyone says it looks like a baseball. Have you seen it? <laughs> yeah, it's just it like a baseball. Does, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen a bad mask yet, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, the artistry that they put in it is is just crazy. I, I mean, I, I know you appreciate the hell out of this because mm-hmm. of the raw talent, the gimmick. Mm-hmm. Now. I mean, I appreciate him from jump, but seeing that Slipknot has a softer, which, I mean, you wouldn't think yeah. this was a Slipknot song, would you? No, uh, other than the, the screams, you know, and the growls. True. But other than that, no, it seems more like uh, a Stone Sour type song. Yeah, or something less of the lines of so hard, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Man, I love that, though, dude. Me too. Um, Damn, dude, I wanted to say one more thing. Uh, about, um... Uh, my memory's shit, dude. <laughs> we were talking about the... Uh, oh, okay. In the very first... And you might remember this from back in the day, like watching MTV when you were a kid. Yeah. Slipknot, they had a member that had a pig mask. It was just a pig. And I, uh, that might have been Craig. I mean, uh, Paul. But, which one is the giant dude? The, the, oh, just Nick. The, that, Nick. He looks, he looks he like he He should have been in WWE. Yeah, that dude looks like he belongs in a... Yeah. Yeah. A freaking serial killer movie. Like he should have been like wrestling Kane or something like that. With you know? the mask, yeah, right? dude, that would have been an awesome gimmick, like Kane versus Mick. <laughs> that would not Mick Foley. No, nah. Mick from Slipknot. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's so crazy you say that because out of every one of their person, they all have different personalities. <clears throat> but I think Mick is like just the big, don't move the much, menacing. Just... Yeah, like the bodyguard if they yes. go out, you know. And, a clown could have been like a backyard wrestler. Yes. <laughs> How tall do you think Mick is? He could have been an ECW. I don't know, he looks like 6'5", six, 6'7". Six, what if he's 5'3"? <laughs> <laughs> they just portray it to be like that in the videos. <laughs> but what was you saying? A clown could be like a backyard? Like an ECW guy or something like that, you know? Where you don't have to really be the biggest guy. or the. I mean, he's a pretty thick dude oh but. and dude have have sid as his uh his uh as manager or? no as his teammate uh yeah. and have and he brings sid out yeah, like on, on his, his shoulder yeah. that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah. and mick be the dude yeah oh dude not. that'd be awesome for you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude this band is amazing yeah do you like the song definitely definitely um y'all to everyone who suggested kill pop yeah 
Thank you. To everyone who suggested just doing Slipknot, we are having the time of our, our lives, lives right here, man. <laughs> Slipknot Saturday is great. Yeah. Man, to the ma- All right, y'all. Let us know what's next for next Slipknot mm-hmm. Saturday. But honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all for letting us mingle with the maggots. Definitely. definitely. Absolutely. Guys, with that being said, my name's Baron to Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to Slipknot Saturday and allowing us to mingle with the maggots. If you want to check out last week's Slipknot Saturday, it's going to be right over here. If you want to check out another artist that we've covered, it's going to be right over here. Thank you guys so much. We are really enjoying this Slipknot Saturday. We will see you next week. Deuces.